Hello everyone, Freddy Shero here, and welcome to today's latest Frontier News Network. Today's FNN isn't a lot I'm afraid, and only goes through a small selection of items and changes that Respawn will be introducing next week Tuesday. And I'm not sure if things will get better since the game's development has come to an end, so nothing major will be announced for Time for 2 starting from now, until I guess Time for 3 is announced. Anyways, Respawn have introduced 6 new weapon war paints for the following weapons. The EPG, the softball, the vault, the alternator, the R101 carbine and the flatlight, which I must say all look fantastic and amazing like always. But just remember, you can purchase these on their own or in a pack, but the package doesn't last for long so you have so you have till the 19th of December to buy them all now or generally never. Respawn have also made it so that everyone can now purchase the Jump Starter Pack, which was only available in the Ultimate Edition of Time for 2, but through feedback, I have decided to make it available for everyone at the cost of $6.99 or £5.27 for those in the UK. Now personally, I don't need it as I pretty much unlocked the majority of items in game, but if you're still deciding on whether you want to get the game now, if you are a new player, or if you want to keep up with other players, then by all means go ahead and purchase the pack, as it will probably help you in the long run. The patch notes now are very small, like just 3 bullet points small, I'm not sure if there's going to be any more nearer the release, but for the time being this is what we've got to work with. The patch says that all Advocates gifts can now be purchased, which is great for those collectors. Nitro Mixtape and Nitro Free For All are making a return, finally, and fixed an issue where cloaked enemies look like they have a mosaic overlay instead of being cloaked when a player is embarked in Titan, which is something I've never noticed before. What do you think guys, have you ever noticed this before? Because I gen they all generally look the same, no offence. Respawn have also gone into detail about two of the major changes they did for the last month's updates, and those were for the Grapple and Mozambique slash Wingman Elite being made as primaries. Now I know a lot of players got completely mad when they heard about some of these changes for the Grapple and Mozambique and Wingman Elite, but this here is some of the reasons behind it, and some of them I do agree, and other bits of it is like, there's better ways you can actually change it. For example, they said that the grapple was changed so that a change in the meta would form and see more diversity within the tacticals in game, which I slightly agree as the grapple is a very popular class for its flexibility and most lobbies people would be either main in the grapple, face, pulse blade or cloak, but decreasing a charge for the tactical doesn't feel like a change I would go with or something that majority of community would go with either. Rather, they could have increased the cooldown for the charges so that you couldn't spam it so often. So you would always have to, I guess, pre-think or pre-plan when you're going to use it. The Mozambique and Wingman Elite becoming primaries were because of how over the popular they were as sidearms, which through data found that they found that these two were used to the point of players not ever using the primaries at all. So they decided to put them in as primaries, so that those who enjoy just using those weapons can now use them how they are. And I must admit, these two weapons are one of my favourite pistols to use in game, simply for the fact of how powerful they are. And like I said, they act like a proper sidearm. They can either finish the opponent off at full health, or they can generally finish the opponent off either from half or literally no health, which some of the other pistols barely can even do at times. And they're also great because they can keep up against players using ARs or SMGs. Not all the time, but in some cases they can do their part very well. But moving them to primary slots mean that now there's only 3 pistols left in the secondary slot. And out of all of them, only 2 of them are viable. Plus, it's only limited us down onto loadout. So now, we only have a few choices to pick on weaponry rather than having a multitude like before. Now, if they did this, but also at the same time gave us, say, 2 new sidearms to replace these two, this wouldn't be much of a problem. There might be a small outcry, but this wouldn't be so much of a problem. Considering the fact that they moved two secondaries to a primary slot and then left basically a secondary slot with barely any other weapons into it and only two of those weapons there being viable, it just feels like we're really limited down on what we can actually use now in game. Which is a shame because really, I know the game is relatively old but I like a bit more flexibility in what type of items I like to use on the battlefield. I just hope that either in the future they either change this, or in Typhoon 3 they at least give us more secondaries to use, so that if they do make a change like this in the future, then by all means they can go ahead, but we still have a good variety of items to use. However, Respawn are listening, and do take back feedback, so if you don't enjoy the change, or if there's something you feel strongly about, 
then speak up. Go to the Time for Two Reddit forums, create a post, and speak up about what you want to say. But just remember, make sure you have good reasonings. Because nine out of, nine times out of ten, no one, not even the devs, will take you serious if you decide to call them scrubs or you no know, good devs or people that don't even know how to program their own games. And lastly, the Reddit community hosted a competition for best banner to be put into game by Respawn. And the 10 winners have finally been announced with their amazing artwork. So, from me personally, congratulations everyone, as I can't wait to try out some of these banners when the patch drops. So, that's the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike. I'll understand, I'll look back over the video and I'll look over what I need to improve on for the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.